Now, the defense chiefs of South Korea, the United States and Japan have agreed to coordinate their efforts to resolve tensions with North Korea through pressure and diplomacy. They also vowed to maintain a high state of readiness against any further provocations from Pyongyang by holding joint military drills. Yu Jin-hee reports. Seoul's Defense Minister Song Yong-mu met his U.S. and Japanese counterparts James Mattis in its Nori Onodera on the sidelines of the ASEAN Security Forum in the Philippines on Monday. There, the three defense chiefs agreed to support trilateral efforts to address the North Korean nuclear issue through maximum pressure. They also recognized the need to heighten their military posture by continuing to hold trilateral ballistic missile warning and anti-submarine warfare drills in light of the regime's growing threat. Seoul's defense chief stressed, however, that South Korea does not want to engage in conflict with the North and that it was prioritizing a peaceful solution to the crisis. But he warned that if Pyongyang were to use military force on its country, South Korea would be forced to take strong action. We understand the weight of engaging in a war as such. We would make all efforts necessary to resolve the issue in a diplomatic and economic way. Tokyo's defense minister, in comparison, adopted a much tougher tone on Pyongyang for its recent provocations, including a pair of missile launches that flew over Japanese territory. Onodera sounded the alarm on North Korea's growing nuclear and ballistic missile capabilities and endorsed Washington's view to consider all options on the table. The threat posed by North Korea has grown to the unprecedented, critical and imminent level. Therefore, we have to take calibrated and different responses to meet with that level of threat. Other ASEAN ministers at the meeting also expressed concerns about escalating tensions on the Korean Peninsula. They called on all parties to exercise restraint and work towards resuming dialogue for the peaceful denuclearization of North Korea. Yujuni, Arirang News.